So, uh, hi, uh, I'm from uh, ISEC and uh, uh, I heard that uh, you are uh, interested. Uh, so first, let me give you my card. Sorry, I don't have my card, sorry. Uh, so basically, uh, ISEC is uh, is is an uh, is a, is, a, is an organization. We are like like a youth club, which might be there in your college. Uh, we what we do is we are young people, and what we do is we take people like you, like take students like you, graduates um, or undergraduate also like nowadays, and we uh, place you in uh, in a different country in a company in a very good company like last i remember uh, the last ep i had who, who went to microsoft in in the united states so yeah that is like the kind of uh, uh, so we are we are in so many countries we are in like what 127 countries and we have so many so many so many so many <laughs> companies that uh, that we are partners with uh, we have apple uh, we have uh, microsoft we have nike we have uh, reebok uh, we have almost 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 there uh, uh, in uh, in ten also like almost so yeah and I, I hear that you're from engineering background so you you know you'll be interested in all that so anyway uh, so as you understood that we are like an agent uh, like a club uh, sorry like an organization who will give you a job always make sure you're clear with the global talent advantage that the YJIP program of ISEC provides. Make sure you study the important points of the same before you pitch to a prospective EP. Do not make unrealistic promises that you cannot fulfill which will lead to a difficult process both for you as well as the EP in the future. Hi, so I hear that you're interested in the Youth Global Internship Program. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, ISEC and the YGIP program. Uh, so ISEC is a leadership development platform and how we do this is through our international internship programs. We provide students the ability to work abroad and gain the skills that they need uh, to then come back and then apply them to real life situations when they pursue their future uh, career uh, options. What is the duration uh, that you would like to go for? Okay. And uh, uh, what would be the background or the job role that you're a JD uh, that you're looking for? Okay. Awesome. Always remember, selling is a two-way process. Make sure that before you go to meet the prospective EP, you are prepared with specific questions that can engage the person in a conversation as well. This makes the person interested as well as more aware of what you are going to sell. Coming ahead, you can see an example of such questions that can help you understand the EP better as well as him or her understand it, your product in a much holistic way. Uh, let me ask you a few questions to see what your expectations are about the program and how much you know about the YGIP. So can you tell me a little bit about your academic background? Can you tell me a little bit about uh, what your expectations are in regards to the duration of the internship and the uh, salary that you hope to receive? Can you tell me a little bit about uh, how much work experience you've had in the past? Uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what you hope to gain from this program and how you think it's going to help you in your future career? <laughs> so what I do it, uh, what I do is, uh, I think for uh, for IT uh, that you are saying, uh, USA, Mexico. Do you watch Breaking Bad? By the way, uh, Canada, Italy, Singapore. These are the five awesome countries that I can give to you and don't even ask about the companies. They are going to be awesome. If they are going to be awesome. If they are going to be awesome. Always make sure you're clear with the global talent advantage that the YJIP program of ISEC provides. Make sure you study the important points of the same before you pitch to a prospective EP. Do not make unrealistic promises that you cannot fulfill which will lead to a difficult process both for you as well as the EP in the future. Coming ahead you will see an example of how exactly you can make use of the global talent advantage and pitch it to an EP to make sure that he or she understands the YJIP in the right manner and hence is coming forward to take the program with a proper expectation leading to a successful delivery. 
So why you should consider taking this program is first because of the uh, what we like to call the global talent advantage. So basically by doing an internship abroad you can learn a lot of very key skills. How to work in an international environment, how to work uh, on a team with international uh, people and how to uh, really learn to be self-reliant. Uh, the next thing is uh, the long-term leadership pipeline. So when you think about yourself five years down the line, ten years down the line, um, how do you see yourself really being impacted by this uh, by this experience? So a lot of employers now are looking for people who want international skills and who have had international experiences. So this will definitely help you uh, from a long-term perspective. And you just need to uh, you just need to confirm that you are going, and within within, and I promise within one month you will know where you are going. Uh, your visa will be so sorted don't worry about that you just need to give us the document we get you your visa in your hands in a month so uh, hi and you're good to go and you will be having an awesome 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 an awesome 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 lovely brilliant experience lovely brilliant experience lovely brilliant experience i can't even like like i can't even speak enough about the experience that you'll be having you'll be working in a foreign team uh, with foreigners like boys girls every it was like boys girls every it was like boys girls every <laughs> like people from all around the world big team 50 60 people and working with the best of people and you'll be having an awesome awesome time and you'll come back and go back again for an internship i promise that once again make sure that you're clear with the isaac advantage do not make fake promises that you cannot deliver to a prospective VP. ISEC provides certain facilities which are within our reach and make sure that you do not promise things that you cannot do. Coming ahead, you will see a short and crisp example of how to pitch the ISEC advantage to an EP. The last uh, is the ISEC advantage. So uh, as ISEC, we really uh, try to support all of our exchange participants. So whether it comes down to documentation, uh, visa help, anything like that, as well as preparing you for your interviews and making sure that you're supported before, during, and after your internship, all of that is our responsibility. And trust me, and this is the last thing I'm going to say. I've seen people go on internships. I've seen people not go on internships. I choose internship every Time. Thank you. The last impression of a sales pitch is often the most important. Coming from an organization like ISEC, using foul language is a complete no. Make sure that at this moment you provide specific follow-up steps that the EP can utilize and make him or her more confident of the program as well as leave on a pleasant note. So does the wine cherry sound like something that you'd be interested in? Uh, because I can definitely see you uh, on an internship somewhere uh, adding value to the organization but also learning skills along the way. So I will be following up with this meeting. I'll send you an email with all of the points that were discussed and uh, whenever you're ready, uh, you can let me know and we can definitely schedule an online assessment test for you so that you can take that forward. Uh, here's my business card. So uh, just uh, give me a call if you have any questions and uh, I will send you an email within the next 48 hours and uh, you can definitely let me know how you want to take this forward. So yeah, thank you and have a great day.